and you're back with Mr. C with some math for the day. This is distance learning math 11 and for today we have a dog book that measures these measurements here or the width and the height and then we have a cat book that measures that. So we have two different books and we're going to answer some questions along the way. So our first question is going to be what is the area in square inches of the dog book, the front cover? So for that, I want you to go just this far in the math problem and stop. We're going to need to have answers here in this box is here. And we're going to have an improper fraction here as well. Remember, you're going to go times and then add to get the top number. And simply copy the numerator at the bottom, the denominator. And then for numerator here, you'll do times and plus and get that number. So go ahead and stop when you get this far. Stop. Do, do not go on to the mixed number here. Just go this far and then we'll stop. Okay, so pause the video now and then I'll help you do just this section. So we're back for just this section. So I'm going to go 2 times 9 is 18 plus 1 more is 19 here. Whoops, 19 there. And at the bottom, that would be 2. Then 2 times 12 is 24, plus 1 more is 25. So 25, 2 there. Okay, so we should have up here a certain number, and we're going to multiply that times that to get that. And 2 times 2 is 4. But I don't know what that is yet, so let's go ahead and do that together. So for that, I would do 25 times 19. So you should have already had this. If you haven't done this already, go ahead and do this now. Stop the video. So we're going to go ahead and check now. So 5 times 9 would be 45. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 2 would be 22. Sorry, 18 plus 4 would be 22. Then we'll go 1 times 25. So... 25 plus a 0. So we should have had 5 there, and the 7 there, and a 4 there. So 475. So up here we should have 475. If you did not have that yet, go back and check your math. Maybe do it again. If you do have 475, let's go ahead and move on to the next, next step. What you're going to do is go 475, 475. And that'll be divided by 4. This could always mean division. So divided by 4. And that'll give us our answer here. So go ahead and stop the video again. Go ahead and do this problem now any way you want to. And find out the answer here. We'll come back in a second. Okay, so for the last step here, I'm going to go divide 4 into 475. And I know I'm going to have an answer there above there and above there, and whatever leftover my remainders will be in the um, form of fourths. So here I go. 4 into 4 would be 1 time, and 1 times 4 would be 4. So 0. Then 7. Oh, I need to bring down my, my next number, so I bring down to 7. So 4 now into 7 would be another just 1 time. Because 1 times 4 is 4. And do a takeaway. And I get a 3. Bring down that 5 for 35. And then 4 into 35 is going to be 8. Because 8 times 4 is 32. Then do a takeaway and I'll have a 3. So this 3 then will become my leftover of 3 fourths. So at the end I have... 118 and 3 fourths and that will be my number I put here in this uh, mixed number so 1 1 8 and 3 fourths now if that is simplified we can put it as our answer we'll check if it's simplified we'll try to find out if there's any number that will divide either the number so there's no one single number that will divide both numbers equally. So that's going to be 
our simplified answer. So our answer, final answer is 118 and 3 fourths. Okay, hopefully you have the same answer. We'll do the same exact type of problem for our cat, our cat book. So here we go. So for the cat book, you do the exact same thing. We're going to have to turn this number into our improper fraction. So we're going to have you stop the video here and do just this part. So 6 and a fourth by 8 and a half. 6 and a fourth by 8 and a half. So go just this far and then stop, please. And we're back, so we're going to go ahead and do 4 times 6 is 24, plus 1 more is 25, so 25 should have been here. And then 4 on the bottom. 8 times 2 is 16, plus 1 more is 17, so 17. And of course the 2 is on the bottom. So we're going to have 4 times 2 is 8 on the bottom. I don't know the top, so I have to do a multiplication problem, which is going to be 25 times 17. So please stop the tape and do that now. 25 times 17. And we'll come back in a second. And we're back. So 5 times 7 is 35. 7 times 2 is 14, 15, 16, 17. 175, we'll add a 0 here, and then 1 times 25 to 250 for the bottom part. So, we go ahead and add 5, 7 plus 5 is 12, carry the 1, and 425. So you should have had 425 up here, I'm sure you did. 425. If you have any problems so far, go back and check your math to make sure you got everything right. If you're ready to move on, let's go ahead and move on. So this means, again, just like last time, this problem here means dividing. So we're going to go 425 divided by 8 is some number. And that number will be our mixed number. So go ahead and do that problem now. I've set it up here for long division if you want to do it that way. We'll come back in a second and see what you got. Okay, so let me go ahead and do our division problem here. 8 into 4 will not go at all. Put a 0 there. But now we go 8 into 42, and that's going to be 5, because 5 times 8 is 40. And 42 take away 40 is going to be 2. I'm going to drop down the 5. 8 into 25 is going to be 3, because 3 times 8 is 24. And 25 take away 24 to be 1. And that 1 will go up here to be 1 8. So we think it's 53 and 1 8. 53 and 1 8. 53 and 1 8. Now, again, we have to ask, will there any number that will divide both of those numbers? And the answer is no, because only 1 divides uh, 1 and then 8. But nothing divides both of them, so that already is simplified again. So 53 and 1 8 would be our final answer there. 53 and 1 8 is the area of the cover of the cat book. And again, if you have any reason to go back and review, go ahead and review all those steps. Okay, so at the end we have a dog book with an area of 118 and 3 4 square inches, a cat book with an area of 53 and 1 8 square inches, and now here are your final two questions. I 
I want you to figure out A, the sum of the areas of both books. Find the sum. Now for that, for that we'll do this problem here. This is A. Finding the sum. Finding the sum, we'll be adding these two numbers. We had our dog book and our cat book. We're going to add them together. And the sum, of course, means always add. So I'll stop, have you stop the video again and try to do this problem here. Find the sum, copy it down, and then see what your answer is. And we'll come back in a second. Okay, so I started you out here showing you that since they speak a different language, they have different denominators, they can't, they can't do any math yet until they have the same denominators. So I copied the one-eighth, it'll be eighths, but this one's going to be, of course, eighths there also. Have four times something made eight. So four times two made eight. So if it's two there, to make the same ratio, we're going to use a two there. So three times two would be six. Now I can do my, my addition because I have the same denominators. So, 6 plus 1 is 7 eighths. And over here in the whole numbers area, 8 plus 3 is 11. Carry the 1. 5 plus 1 is 6, plus 1 more is 7. And then the 1. 171 and 7 eighths. We think it's 171 7 eighths for the sum of A. So 171 171 and that was 7 eighths. Hopefully you got that same answer. And now I'll take that same type of math and do the difference now. This is your final problem for the day, is the difference. So, finding the difference, we're going to subtract. So, our final question of the day is find the difference. Difference means subtract. And again, I'll stop the video for you, or you'll stop the video. And try, try to solve this. Copy everything down, and then do some do some uh, do some math, and we'll come back and find the answer together. Okay, so you saw like last time we they don't have the same denominators. So we have to make this an eighth somehow that they'll they'll be able to do math to each other. So again, it's going to be four times two that made the eight, and we'll, to get the top number, we'll use the same number. Three times two would be six, just like last time. 6 eighths is equivalent to 3 fourths. But now we're going to subtract. So 6 take away 1 would be 5 eighths. Got my little line here. Okay. So separating my fractions from my whole numbers over here, we're going to take away now. 8 take away 3 is 5. And then 11, 11 there. Take away 5 is 6. So it looks like the answer is 65 and 5 eighths. That's the difference in square inches of both books. So 65 and 5 eighths. Sixty-five and 5 eighths. So that was today's math with Mr. C. We had the area of two different books. We did the area for each, and then we did an addition problem and a subtraction problem. And that was today's Math with Mr. C. Thank you for learning.